Oh, that's why I was able to talk to people. This is the she hood. Forward, gray hair falling to frame her wrinkled face and whispers. I am so, so hungry. I need to feed. I need your sauce. Mm. Ask it to intervene? What do you mean? Oh, you can have it, Amadia. The woman takes you in her arms, pulling you close in a warm, soft embrace. You almost can't help relaxing as a vampire bites through you. You're still breathing in her scent, the smell of home. When you feel her claws, they press into your back, tearing cloth, breaking skin, pushing deep into muscle. Ow! A gasp escapes your lips, and you sense it, her ferocious hunger as she starts to feed. You feel your source draining away, your energy sapping, your own hunger becoming unbearable. You push her away, staggering backwards, until you rest gasping against the door. The figure in the bed draws the curtains and smiles as she is bathed in moonlight. She turns back to you, her grey hair now streaked with gold. She gets out of the bed, walking towards you, but you feel your god pulling you back, pulling you away from her claws. Uh -oh. The room fades, but Amadi's moon remains, now emblazoned on the altar before you. Uh oh. She acknowledges your presence. A bird flits in the background as a sense of warmth and peace fill. You reach out to Amadia, but all you can hear is the chirp of birds. Getting up, you see the emblem of a moon carved into the altar. Doesn't look like a moon. It's a V. Okay, so I just gave Amadia some power, and she was creepy as hell. Violently steal my source. At least you didn't steal it all. Not gonna be anything hidden here, right? No one, no one's just gonna bury stuff up here. Oh, I'm back here. Will this open now? Before you stands a shrine, this statue. Damn it. Okay, well. You do know. Actually, was that the other direction you can go? Forget. Yeah, it was just a big loop. Okay. Hmm. Maybe, um, maybe she wants a bite from each of my characters. Let's see. Just a little nibble. Curious. The heck? Why are you always lagging so far behind, Fane? Everyone come up here. A bird flits in the back. A sense of warmth and peace fills. You reach out to Amadia, but all you can hear is the ch Bummer. Alright. Not how it worked. Curiouser and curiouser.
It, that's smart. It gave you that one piece. You can give her some sores, or you just come back and then you get some free stuff. Cool with me. it keeps zooming in like that I mean, crazy all right you can jump you can jump twice what No, look up. There you go. Okay. Did I just miss that? Is there more? I'm not missing anything here. Really? Colonel Plate can be combined with something, huh? Interesting. There it is. Back to that rock. Head, or headless statue, rather. You touch buttons, things are going to go bad. It's not a time thing. That oh, one's red, though. What am I doing? More this way? Just come that way. Camp. Be hacking people. What's that? I can't make heads nor tails of this. Cave entrance, huh? Crab. You, you there? Prithee, goodly traveler. Might I prevail upon you to answer a question? 
Sure. You see, I am on a mission most grave. I seek a sorcerer most foul, most reviled, most feared. Her name is... Sibyl. She pinches scissor wildly. Scepter the Ineffable! Oh, it's that crab we met in Act 1. Have you heard tell of this wicked beast on your travels? Yep, met her in Port oh, Joy. Oh no, you spoke to her, face to whatever you call the odd frontly part of your person. Uh. I regret to inform you, you <laughs> haven't much longer to live then. Now that she has your scent, it won't be long until Scepter tracks you here and guts you like a minnow. You have my sympathy. The hunt continues. Imperio, away! No. No! I mess up the quest by telling him I found him. That was funny though. Imperio. You haven't much longer to live. That's funny. Alright. Do I need to light all those things or something? It's clear where her people get their feelings of supremacy from. Grant's food. Walking up here. You suddenly hear something in the distance. A strange tune. Seville freezes. It's her scar song. The master is near. Oh, snap. He's close. We must turn back now. Or, or he'll have me under his thrall once more. I need to find someone I can trust enough to share the scar song with. It's the only way. She bleeding? Oh. Don't trust me, Sibyl. This is not quite the safest place I've ever been. This place just have a bunch of mushrooms in it. Well, this that. all looks. There's just a source pool. I have an even harder time doing that. Oh, Be awesome. One handed sword, it's not awesome at all. Okay. Source point. Is, do I drop a teleport if you can? A kind gesture. Fragger, my dude, with the fifth. Minutes. Thank you so much, my man. How are you? You want to say thank you, Fragger, for the bitties? Nom, nom, nom. Thank you, Fragger, for the bitties? Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Not much. Uh, we are in Act 3. Finally. Um, Kind of walking my way around the island, trying to figure out what the heck it's all about, but there's this cave here that seems... Rather empty, which is kind of throwing me off. Munching on foods, what'd you get? I got a piece of hamburger stuck in a cavity and it's killing my tooth. All right, Sabeel said she didn't want to go up there. Whoa, did I see source up there? Or is that just a bug? It must've been a bug. 
All right, I'm gonna walk this way. Am I encumbered? I'm finally- no. Warm. This is the altar. He's gonna do the same thing, isn't he? He, they may try to take my source, though. Instead of asking. Whoa, what did I just pick up? A lizard leg. You are a priest of the kin. Your face raised to the sun. Your blood warming to the heat upon your skin. All is well. And then... All is not well. Cries of war come from the shore, and death comes quick. I learned something. Alright, maybe I didn't find all the... I was assuming if I just found a bunch of those statue things and I lit them all up, something would happen. Apparently not. Taco Bell again? I almost got Taco Bell again, too. And then uh, I was uh, I was running late home from work, so the air is thick. Didn't really have time to stop. Of ash. The altar before you seems to radiate heat as you approach. All right. An emblem of the sun glows faintly on the altar, but all you can hear is the hiss and rumble of the volcano and your own heavy breath. Okay, at least he didn't try to eat my source. Although there was a source pool underneath me, it makes me think that you he will try to eat it at some point. Or you'll be able to talk to him. What's this? I found something. See? Let's go to the weird areas. The weird edges, rather. That. Reliquary. There's people in there, so I don't want to go that way yet. Maybe this thing will spin now. The one last shot. It looks like it would spin. Yeah, I feel better. My throat is a little sore still, but I can't nothing too crazy. No tales of this. I don't remember getting a different cloak. Oh, it's because I'm warm. Reading of the wonders of Zolstissa, it's clear where her people get their feelings of supremacy from. Okay, maybe I had a slight loss for words there. The Shadow Prince, cool. One step, then another, ever closer. You can tell from her bearing, Sibyl has never been so ready to kill. So oh, this is the master! Pending action. She's like a cat, all concentrated muscle, that split second before it pounces. Another step, ever closer. The moment has finally come. She's found the master. The eyes of predators meet. Ooh, that was a good line. Sabil. He snaps his fingers, and she involuntarily snaps to attention. Oh, we gotta fuck him up. Here you go, breaking my We're gonna heart. have to fight Sabil, aren't we? That's the plan, mastermind. Yeah. What do you mean, breaking his heart? He sighs. Sat I don't begrudge you your freedom, Sabeel. Your escape relieved me of having to witness your death by your own hand. The inevitable last command. No, he's gonna make her kill herself. I would have watched you, 
like I have all this time. Glad to see you live, sometimes even live.